Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another AutoCAD tutorial. So in this project, we're going to make 3D stairs. So first of all, let me set up my drawing type units and make sure that your length type is architectural and precision one by four, right? Click OK and type limits. I've already set up my limits, so it's up to you that what limits you want to set up. So I've got like 200 feet by 200 feet, press spacebar, Z, spacebar, A for all. So now our drawing is set up. To start working on a 3D stair, we need a 2D plan for that first. So to make that 2D plan, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my rectangle command, REC. I'm just going to select one of the arbitrary points and I'm going to click dimensions. And the length would be 3.5 feet and then height would be 9 inch, right? So I've got this rectangle there, I'm just going to click here and I'm going to zoom in now, right? So this is our step, one step, right? So I'm going to apply the array command, so AR for array command, select the object and now select a rectangle, right? It's already rectangle uh, selected default, so I'm going to click on it. And now I've got this array, right? So I'm going to click to accept that array. Alright, so once I select that array, it's still on. I still see that array modify panel. So I'm going to change my column value to 1. And I'm going to change my row value to 9. And I'm going to give a distance of 9 inch because we made that rectangle as a 9 inch, right? So I'm going to close the array now. Alright, so this is our frame done. Now I'm going to start a rectangle from this point and I'm going to take the reference from here hold down your cursor for a bit there and then just move up and I'm going to give a value of let's say 3.5 feet right so this is what we have right now and I'm gonna start my array on the right here again well I can copy that well what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type x spacebar I'm gonna select that array enter and now these are separate rectangles so I can copy few of the rectangles let's say I want to take maybe five of them I'll copy that I'm just gonna drop them there and I'm going to rotate them RO for rotate select them select this point and just select and just drop them there right so this is kind of our frame done right so I've got my 2d frame done now all right so now I'm gonna change my viewport to SW isometric viewport and now as you can see I've got my separate objects right so I'm going to extrude one of them so select this I'm gonna give a value of 2 inch yep and then I'm gonna extrude the same one and I'm going to give value of 2 inch right and the easiest way to do that is just move that the second one let's say I'll move that and I give a value from here to about 7 inch the reason why I'm giving 7 inch because this step has 2 inch height as well So 9 minus 2 would be 7, right? So I'm going to give 7 Inch value. So now this step is basically 9 inch height from the ground. All right So now we can copy and paste so as you can see I've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 to make all right So I'm going to copy this step and I'm going to select this point right i'm gonna drop that it's gonna automatically drop on the right spot so i'm gonna click that and i'm just gonna keep going all right so now if you look at it that i've got my steps done and now i'm going to extrude my this rectangle and i'm going to give value of two inch as well and i'm gonna move that from let's say this point to this point right and I'm gonna move that again select that point maybe leave that value 0 comma 0 comma let's say 9 inch all right so it's set up properly all right so now I can basically copy some of these and just drop them there right which is going to be very easier so I'm gonna one two three four five steps all right so I'm gonna copy one two three four five steps right and I'm going to copy from this point and I'm just gonna drop that from this point right did that all right and now I'm going to basically rotate them RO that will be rotated let's say 
it's gonna take them about here right done I'm gonna orbit that hold down your shift key and just orbit that and you can just move them from this point and just drop them here okay there's another thing I've got to do is I'm just gonna move these steps again 0 comma 0 comma 9 inch value okay so now let's have a look how a drawing look like so I'm just gonna change to let's say shaded okay so cool so these are our steps done and now we're gonna make a railing right before we start making our railing part what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this step from this point and I'm just gonna drop it here just gonna copy this step from this point and just gonna drop it here right the reason why I'm copying this is because I need that midpoint there so now I can use my 3d polygon command go to my home tab and I'm gonna select my 3d polygon command I'm gonna start from this midpoint I'm just gonna drop it here go all the way there and select that midpoint there and just drop that to the midpoint there right so our other side is done now and I'm gonna do the same thing here start from this midpoint go all the way up here select that midpoint and then go all the way up there here okay so now our part is done now I'm going to copy both of these parts I'm gonna select maybe this point I'm just gonna take them up to 3.5 feet right we're done and now I'm gonna select a line here I'm just gonna take the line and just drop it all the way to down and I'm gonna take another line from this point I'm just gonna drop it to down right and let's say make another line maybe from this point and just drop it there make another line drop it here make another line from this point and just drop it to the midpoint here okay so we need one more line here to the midpoint what else do we need so I'm gonna take another line from this corner and I'm just gonna drop that to the perpendicular midpoint if I can select that all right done okay so we're very much okay to go now I'm going to use my join command just gonna get rid of this line we don't need that line right so I'm gonna select my join command J O I N and I'm going to select this line this line and let's say this line so I'm gonna make them one polyline that's done that's our part I'm gonna select the join command again select this line and this line done all right okay cool so I'm gonna select my CI circle command I'm gonna make a circle here about let's say one inch done and I'm going to move that circle from quadrant so hold on your shift key right click and select quadrant so you can select the quadrant now I'm just gonna drop it here I'm gonna make another circle here and I'm gonna give it a point and we're gonna move that circle from the quadrant select the object right click with the hold holding down the shift key select that quadrant there and just drop it here right right so we got our both circles done now all right so it's pretty easy now you can extrude these circles select that circle B for part and select this part select that circle B for part select that part okay so now let's have a look in a 3d shading mode I'm gonna go tend to shading mode all right cool so we got our nice edging done here as well we got our outer and inner railings done right let's go to our home tab and I'm going to change some layers I'm gonna click on layer properties and I'm going to make two more layers layer one layer two I'm gonna name it railing that would be steps great okay let's close our layer properties uh, let's select these railings and I'm going to change them to railing right
right, for now this is what we have right so I'm gonna make a few more steps here so how do we do that I'm gonna change this to 3d wireframe and let's go about here all right so I've got to change my UCS I'm gonna drop my UCS to this face all right and I'm gonna start drawing a circle here I'm gonna make another circle let's say from this point we're gonna give a little point five it's gonna be a bit smaller one all right I'm gonna move that to the quadrant select that circle select that from quadrant and just drop that to the perpendicular right do 3.5 feet so 3.5 feet and let's see what we have here all right I'm gonna change that to shaded it's going all the way up there right so there's another way you can do it is because I'm gonna select that face select this face and I'm gonna move that a bit down right a bit more down so just make that where it doesn't pop up all right so this is fine all right so now I've got to move this I'm gonna move this to x-axis I'm gonna give minus 0.5 inch comma zero comma zero done all right so now let's have a look what we got all right we got nice railing there right <laughs> guys this is what we have right now and I'm going to finish this tutorial because this is just a basic tutorial for stairs so I'll be making some more advanced and fancy looking stairs in AutoCAD so the videos will be coming up soon so stay tuned for that I hope you like this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video